Making my way I love it. Walking fast, face is fast, and I'm homebound. Oh, no. Don't like it. It's gonna be the intro of my video, but don't like it. Oh, there's Tweety and Porky Pig right now. Hi, Tweety. How you doing? Oh, you're looking good today. Porky. Hey, guys. Have you guys seen Taz? Is Taz out today? Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. I'm super excited. I, I'm so happy to see you. High five. High five. Oh, this is awesome. It's going to be a good day, guys. All right. I'm going to see if the Joker is going to run. All right. Off I go. Ooh, Christmas tree. All right. All right, so I came after rope drop today. I didn't really want to deal with the hassle of rope drop today. I, I wanted to make it a little more smooth, walk into the park a little more relaxed. So I didn't do rope drop today. I decided to uh, just cruise up. And uh, one thing I really want to look for today is all the Halloween stuff is gone. It's dust. There's no more Halloween stuff. It's time to get ready for holiday nights. And that's the key right there. Holiday nights is coming up. Uh, Winterfest. I don't know what the heck it's called. It's called something. I'll do a profile on it eventually. Uh, I'm just walking here to see. I saw the Joker testing with somebody in it, so I kind of want to see if they're going to open it. You ever know. Uh, the last ride I got on Joker was awful. The worst ride I've ever had on Joker was uh, a couple weeks ago. I was riding the back row, and it was just so rough. It was shaky. It sounded awful. So, not for me. Wow. This, this used to be a scare zone, actually. Used to be a bunch of stuff everywhere. Wow, it's all gone. They did a good job getting rid of it. Batman the Ride, coming next year. Ride it. Well, if you're here, ride it. If you're not, go to uh, Fiesta Te Six Flags. Fiesta Texas has it, the exact same ride, Batman. Uh, also, there's a couple Jokers out there. Exactly the same ride. Uh, I know a lot of people think the Green Lantern's the same ride, but it's a completely different ride. It's made by a different company, and it's much worse. Green Lantern, First Flight, or... Oh, dang it. What's that one called at Magic Mountain? First Flight. Awful. Awful ride. I went on that one time to get the credit. I'll never go on it again. It was awful. So I'm really hoping this one's a little bit better. <sighs> All, right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are cruising, and we're about to find out if they're letting people at least line up for Joker. And let's turn. Oh. Sorry, there was this epic music playing in the background. It just, it felt really epic at the time. Uh, Dolphin Cove, don't see much from Dolphin Cove. Here's Big Belly Burger. Interesting. Well, one thing, I do see Superman testing. They did let Joker actually get a line, which is interesting. They're probably just still just running one train, though. If they were running two trains, it'd be great, but I'm highly doubt. They were running two trains right now, but there's V2. Vertical velocity. Oh, it's still going. Actually, there's nobody up there, so it might be closed today. I don't see anybody up there at all. All right, well, let's go take a look and see how Joker's like going. They're definitely running only one train. So that's a rough one right there. One train. So let's see where the line is going to get you at one train. All right, let's see here. How far does this line go back? Actually, you know what? That's not too bad. You know what? I'm down. All right, I'm gonna try to get Joker ride today. All right. We got a lot of people in front of me right now, so let's see. Watch this. Go right. And then go left. Bam! Past everybody. That's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. The wolf is tall, he's fast, and he gets by everybody. Uh, looks like they're setting up Superman. People can go on my Superman ride. I'm going to try to go for the Joker, so let's see what happens with, with this ride on the Joker, all right? See you in a bit. Woo! Yeah, I know I've said this before, but they're definitely running with just one train on, uh, here's the second train of Joker right now. It's actually back up. It's been in the uh, shop working on it, so, but they got the one train there. I really hope they swapped it out from uh, the train two weeks ago, because that thing was rough in the back. So, I'm definitely probably not going to do back ride today. But yeah, hopefully the sooner they get two running, the better it will be. But I'm pretty sure they're going to just swap them out and do a refurb on one of them. We shall see. All right, there goes Harley Quinn. 
Uh, only one side of Harley Quinn is running again, so they're probably still having trouble with the, uh, I think it's the restraints on one side. So, I mean, I see a lot of people on this ride, and they're not, kill they're not hating it. So, I don't know, man. RCDB says this is a roller coaster, so, you know, coaster studios can say what they want, but roller coaster database says this is a coaster, so I'm going with them. Wow. Well, that's a big difference. Uh, if you remember, the uh, they used to have the fountain here, and it used to have blood in it and everything, but now, check it out, man. This is a massive tree. This thing's huge. Does that mean... Does that mean... Oh, no. Do I have to say it? Oh, no. That means Christmas is starting now. Ah, take that, Tim Tracker. I could say it, too. All right. Winter Wonder Lane and Mary... Marketplace. Oh, it seriously looked like mother face for like a second there. That's interesting. So that's one thing they got there for holidays so far. Wonder if they got anything else. They should head over by Medusa. See what that line's doing. Something else they're doing because it's Veteran Today weekend is uh, they have little demonstrations, displays, and stuff like that for our heroes. Um, in case you guys want to know, my brother is one of those. He's a uh, captain in the uh, United States Army. So uh, I'm always watching out for him and. Hopefully, uh, other people are watching out, making sure he's okay. It scares me anytime uh, anybody ever talks about wars or anything like that because I don't want my brother to, to go anywhere. He's got a son, man. You know, I can't, I can't take care of my nephew, so he needs his dad. All right, off I go towards Medusa. And I got to stop filming like this because I'm holding my phone in a really weird way. <laughs> so I got I to gotta stop, all right? See you in a bit. All right, everyone, forget Medusa. Let's go on the Cobra. You know, I'm only six foot three. It's only going to hurt my knees like crazy, but let's go on the Cobra to get the credit. Well, actually, I've got this credit before, but I haven't ridden this in probably years. So, and usually it's got a really long line. So, this is very interesting. So, I'm going to roll the back. And this is why the wolf never takes his phone out on a ride. You never do that. That's very bad. So, oh, it's another person following the rules. Hi, person following the rules. I love when people follow the rules. Ooh, I'm going to go in the back row just to get some whip. And uh, hopefully I can fit in this because I'm freaking tall. So it's been a long, it's been a probably, I want to say five years since I've been on this. So this will be exciting to check it out. Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. All right, so I just got off the most vicious coaster, the Cobra from Zaire. It's been years since I've been on it. It's okay. It's a kid's coaster, man. I don't know what to say about it. It was all right. I was having fun with some kids in front of me, so whatever. Um, Medusa has, like, no line. They're running two trains. Time to go on Medusa. Yeah. All right. Check this out. I know I don't got my mic on right now, but look at this. It's a good Sunday. It's a good Sunday. The only line is for the front. All right, just gone off the Medusa uh, for my second time. Actually, I went twice because there was no line, ladies and gentlemen. There was no line for Medusa. It was awesome. Well, unless you were in the front row, then if you want to wait for the front. I guess that's the only time you would wait. But uh, so the mid course break run right here, this guy right there. I don't know. I don't know if it's a mid course, but I call it the mid course break run. Um, it had a little bit of breaks today, so I was sad about that, but. On, uh, during Fright Fest, I swear the brakes were off. So Kong, you can see, is still down for refurbishment. I don't want to ride on Larson Looper? No. They're everywhere. I'm going to ride one at the county fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. People are not Larson Looper, huge Larson Looper fans. Some are, I guess. I hear one of the trains for Kong up there. Hopefully getting worked on because, dang, that thing was rough last time. So when they do open it up, I'll definitely go on it and let you know how it's running. Uh, I went on it fairly recently before it went off, so I should be able to uh, get a good gauge on how it's running. Okay, so here's what the park employee was telling me about. It's a legit tank. Not joking. It is a freaking tank. That is cool. That is excellent. Oh man. So this is uh, for Heroes Day. We used to call it Veterans Day, but I guess it's Heroes Day. 
area chain. Got some guys here in costume and stuff too. Interesting. This comes from the American Armory Museum. World War II, Vietnam. World War II, my grandfather. Also my great uncle. Very nice. This is really crazy. I think it's a British one. Oh wait, yep, look, look, look. Got the old Union Jack right there. Definitely British. Yeah, you don't want to look down the barrel of that. Look at that. Uh, that's really cool. This is extremely interesting. Oh, great. The one thing I want to do. One thing I want to do in the world right now, I can't do it. Great. But it looks amazing. Got this tank, man. That's nuts. We even got a few guys as soldiers, too. Let's go take a look here. You can see that. Interesting. Yep, self propelled artillery. Also known as tank. Very interesting. It's from the United Kingdom, made by Vickers. Got a Rolls Royce K60 engine in it. I'm sure that stuff means stuff. Uh, this is probably definitely World War II. This is not like the World War I tanks. This looks functional. So that's really cool. Something I got here for Heroes Day. Awesome. Again, my brother is one of those heroes, a captain, military police. That was very cool. Man. Yeah, make sure to check that out. Which way am I going? This way? Okay. But yeah. Definitely uh, come out tomorrow. See Heroes Day. I'm sorry I can't really hype it up too much because this video will be out when Heroes Day is probably over. But it was really cool. I thought that was amazing. And uh, I heard there might be some other stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead over by Shark Experience, see if there's some other stuff to look at for Heroes Day. Interesting, so they still got this uh, barn thing up right here, which is, uh, that was from Fright Nights, from Fight Fest, Fright Fest, yes. That was from Fright Fest. Oh, wow. I wonder if they're gonna use this for uh, holidays at all. You deck it out, you can make it look really cool. But this was for like uh, Sawmill Pass, which was, not a very good scare zone, but that's still up. One thing from Fright Nights, that's still up. Or they're using it for Christmas, one or the other. This is interesting. Check it out, man. You can write or color letters to thank your heroes. Um, I would do that myself, but I talk to my brother every day, and that's the only, that's the hero I talk to. Wow, well, yes. Marines? No. Army. Now we're talking. This is really cool. Peregrineer. Uh, I don't know much about World War II, honestly. Should have asked my great uncle while he was alive. Huh? That's Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam. My bad. All right. Check it out, man. They got a Jeep. Old school. This is all from the American Army Museum in Fairfield. So I definitely suggest you check it out. If you can't make it out this weekend, go check out the Military History Museum. That's awesome. I mean, check this thing out, man. Wow. Oh, so cool. Oh, look, look, look. Even got little uh, shovels and axes and stuff on the back. That's great. Even a replacement handle for the axe. Really cool. Yeah, I actually got to stop. I stopped at the booth for a little while and uh, chatted up some of the guys there. It was it was very enlightening. That's um, it was yeah, it was very enlightening. You know, they knew a lot. Um, some of the military uniforms up there were different than I thought they were. I thought one was like from World War II, but it was from Vietnam. So that was kind of weird. And. Uh, so I'm heading over this way to pretty much make the circle around the park. Uh, I go check over by the animals and everything like that. And then I'm going to maybe head towards a place I haven't been in a long time. A place I have missed. A place I have needed. I'll have to find out about that. That's coming up real soon. Something that I've needed for so long and I've been without. So we shall see. I haven't seen anything else for holiday though other than a tree. So like literally just the tree so far for holiday. And then we saw what's left of the sawmill pass. So very interesting. Ooh, the air quality's not too great, but look at the big kitty. This is like the big male kitty right here. Females up over here. Look at this guy. Ready for a siesta all day, man. Well, they are nocturnal, not diurnal, so. Really crazy. You rarely get to see them so up close, so. That was nice. Do you want to turn around and 
they obviously don't seem to care too much about the animals out and about when the smoke out because they got the uh, giraffes out today. That's for sure. I got my bottle. See, you got the giraffes out. Very nice. They got both of them actually. You can see them. Ooh. Very cool. I wonder if there are any other animals out today. Okay, these houses in the back by the elephant are actually still up. It's uh, St. Agnes Hospital and uh, what well, the other one? I can't remember what the name was. Demon's Lair, yeah. So they're still in the back there. And actually, if you can see, it's really hard to see right there in the middle, right there. Sorry about my finger in there. Mom zooming in, it made no sense, but that's actually the um, animatronic from the front of the park. So that's where that guy is. I wonder where the Pumpkin King went. Interesting. Here's an even better view of all the things, including the big animatronics. Got that hearse that was in the cemetery. And uh, yeah, a lot of the Fright Night props or Fright Fest props are all in the back there. I think even the Pumpkin King's back there. Can't quite tell, but very interesting. So those are still kind of, you know, around. So this area right here, used to be where the uh, spider scare zone was and there is from what I can tell absolutely nothing left no cobwebs nothing not even uh, oh wait a minute there may be one thing left over here a little piece of a lighting ring it looks like there's the art going that's nice everyone likes the art you see this uh, lighting fixture right here that was actually for that little spider setup that was here you guys remember it was right here had a big old spire and everyone had to take pictures with it yep it looks like there's still one lighting scaffold left one piece of halloween left ladies and gentlemen uh, cruising over towards the boomerang uh, surprisingly not enough uh, a lot of the animals are out and about actually uh in this area tigers the lions were out yeah Oh, the boomerang is down. They don't even have to have the uh, trains up there. So definitely, absolutely no boomerang ride today. I'm okay with that, 100%. No boomerang ride for me. I'm heading up this way to check out on something for one of my subscribers who asked me to check it out. And that's what you're going to see next. So cut to that video, Wolf. Okay, by special request, I am taking a close look at the Tasmanian Devil, which has been uh, standing but not operating for... Honestly, hey guys, in the comments, let me know when the last time it was you rode Tasmanian Devil. Because I'm trying to get an idea of how long it's been closed down. And, uh... I don't know, man. It's not looking great up there. Seen a lot of leaves and stuff everywhere, like it hasn't been cleaned up in a little bit. There. You can't see too much into the mechanics of it, but you know. It's the Tasmanian Devil. Still standing, not operating. I mean, they don't even have, again, guys, look, up here, no sign, completely gone. You can even see the parts where the sign was uh, held on. Uh, but it does say it's, uh, you know, just temporarily closed. They still have the uh, height meter here. Uh, all that stuff, uh, the exit's still there, so. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I wish I could say more about it. I wish I could tell you exactly if it's going to be working or not, but there's just no way to tell. I mean, I'm not a mechanic, um, not an expert on rides. I wish I was, that'd be nice. But uh, I mean, I haven't seen this thing do with anything at all. Their strengths are looking a little bit haggard too. They're not looking too great. What's good is I'm not seeing like cobwebs or anything. It's not as bad as voodoo looks, but I don't know. Maybe I should, I really got to try to find somebody to tell me what's going on with Tasmanian Devil, but 
So far as I know, there are no plans to get rid of it, but there's also no plans to get it up and running again. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. I'll keep trying to check in on this, all right? Back I go, back to my journey. Interesting. Looks like they still got the sign for Scarecrow Hollow up. Still my favorite scare zone, but not really much else left of it from what I can tell. No pumpkins, no, ooh, a little tiny bit up there, actually. Really hard to see, you can only see with your naked eye, but right there, that's one box they had something on. There's a, that right there is a green light. So very little left of Scarecrow Hollow. Very, very little left of it. So I'm kind of sad about that. I loved Scarecrow Hollow. I thought it was the best scare zone. Feel free to fight me on the comments on that one because you're not gonna, what was your favorite scare zone? What did you like best from Discovery Kingdom scare zone? Because this one's definitely the best. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Yes, finally, about time. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. Here we go. Eminem steps, Eminem steps in a couple of tra-la-las. That's how we waste the day away in the merry old land of Oz. Eminem steps, oh God, I felt good. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed my Eminem steps. So got the Scarecrow Hollow sign right there. Nice. Oh, the Pumpkin King's there, still there. Hold on, didn't see that. Zoom in, see it? Pumpkin King, he still reigns. I couldn't help myself. I had to go to the M&M steps. God, it felt good to go to the M&M steps again. Oh, man. Uh, I did send out the, um, I did send out the, uh, uh, the snake for the, um, the 50 subscriber giveaway. It took me way too long to do that. And I am so sorry, young Bala. I am so, so sorry about that, but, um, it's on its way. I sent it. It will be there. Eventually, I didn't spend much money, so it'll be there eventually. Um, and uh, get a comment on the video, uh, Young Baller, whenever it does arrive, and let us know what you think. I think it looks cool, and I hope you liked it. Uh, remember, it's gonna be an even better prize for 100 subscribers once we get there. Once we get to 100 subscribers, it's gonna be something a little different. We can actually vote on the prize, actually. I'll do a vote on it. We'll see uh, exactly, oh, nice. Something I never really noticed before is this little hub area. You know, it's a little, tiny, tiny little hub area. Interesting. It's not that interesting. It's just kind of got me going there. But they do have some other holiday things left. Uh, let's see. Ooh, there's a really cool display up here in this window, which I'm going to try to go see. Very interesting. Take a look real quick. You see, it's a snowman and a reindeer. It's a reindeer and a snowman. And then there's the wolf. Hi, everybody. That's cool. I like that. That was nice. Yeah, so there's a few holiday things. Mainly it's a tree. Mainly it's a tree for holidays right now, but they're doing their whole Veterans Day thing today, so maybe they're going to wait to put out the Christmas stuff. So maybe next week we'll see even more Christmas stuff. Yes, because Christmas is starting now. Again, I still have the Tim Tracker, but I don't care. I still like to say it. This might be my day, ladies and gentlemen. This might be my day here. I don't think there's much else I'm going to do. I've gone on V2, Joker. I went back and did a Superman run when you guys weren't watching. Uh, yeah, they still have this clearance sale going. That's cool. Very nice. I am going to head to go fill up my bottle. Yeah. Inside the candy shop. Candy shop. All right, that's my day. I got to see a lot of cool things. I got to see the Christmas tree was going up, a couple other holiday things. Also, they still have some stuff left over from Halloween, it looks like. So that was, that was interesting, to say the least. I hope you guys enjoyed what I did today. There's going to be more coming next week. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, that's cool, man. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming to see the wolf. And for all you out there, remember, trying to get to 100 subscribers so we can get another giveaway, all right? So, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, walk with the wolf. Or walk backwards with the wolf. I'm walking backwards. I should walk forwards. There we go. That's better. <laughs>